Clingit Athabaskan artist Crystal Worrell has plenty on her resume from public art installations to U.S. postal stamps, even her own company. She is no doubt a successful artist. Yeah, but her latest work is taking her talents to even new heights. Joe Kaneen has her story. Hot Kwani is clad in formline design, which is an art form that comes from Clinkit, Haida, and Simshian tribes. Crystal Whirl uses that design to share her cultural identity with people from Alaska and around the world, now taking her talents to the skies. And our culture is absolutely beautiful and has powerful stories encoded in the artwork. And I think it's a great opportunity for people to learn and embrace indigenous culture. Whirl says that she's been wanting to put her work on an airplane for a long time. Today, after making that happen, she got the chance to share the results with the world. 2002, I downloaded a template of the Boeing 737 and I superimposed my artwork in it because I thought, how cool would it be to see Formline on an airplane? The salmon portrayed all over the jet is a way for world to depict an aspect of a way of life. Hers, her cultures, and a huge part of the states. It ties back to the symbol that I felt was connecting not just my identity and Alaska Native identity, but Alaskan people. What do we all connect with? What brings us all together? And it's salmon. She hopes that when people see the aircraft as it travels the world, they become more curious about the fish, not only as a resource, but what it represents and means to the people here. Learning about our relationships with the salmon and learning about our cultures here in Alaska, people will be curious. I want people to learn learn about it. We have beautiful culture here. After her biggest project yet, Whirl isn't sure what she'll do next, but she considers this piece a valuable learning experience and will take it with her moving forward. I think I'll keep learning the rest of my life. Um, I'm not sure what my next major project is. I'm just, I'm going to keep creating. That's what I do. Until then, keep your eyes up in the sky and you might just see the fish fly. Joe Kinnean, Alaska's news source. That aircraft will take its first flight today from Anchorage to Juneau. Very exciting. It will then continue on to Sitka, Ketchikan, and Seattle.